Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me just say, I'm Jamaican. My dad's part of the family is from Mandeville. Right, my mother's is from St. Elizabeth. For Jamaicans out there, you know where I'm talking about, right? I was raised in New York City in a very Jamaican household. Probably the best boxer in Jamaica right now is the WBA featherweight champion, Nicholas Walters. Understand, Walters is unbeaten. Understand, his nickname is the Axe Man, and he lives up to it with a greater than 80% KO ratio. Right? Style-wise, in my opinion, Walters is a mid-range hooker. He comes in, he throws hooks with bad intentions. If he gets really close to you, he can throw an uppercut. Opponents cannot take the punching power. Frankly, he looks big at featherweight. Right? When I talk with cousins, as you can imagine, one of the first fighters they name, right, other than Floyd, is Nicholas Walters. Right? He casts a big shadow in Jamaica. But also understand, in addition to being Jamaican, I'm also a sports better. Just like when I go to the store and I'm going to buy something and I look at the price tag to decide whether I'm going to buy it, the price always matters in boxing. You always need to know what the odds are. You know I like to buy things or bet on things at a discount. Now, according to BoxRec.com, one of the premier boxing sites here online, they are the go-to source for information about a fighter's record, right? When you log in, they'll give you even more information about the fighter's weight as well as uh, other information about their opponent, right? Whether the opponent won or lost matches immediately preceding the bout you are researching. It's an invaluable research tool for people handicapping boxing. Now you'll notice on BoxRec they rank all of the featherweights in the world. And the man they place at the top is Nanito Denier. Right? A fighter who I personally feel and understand I'm a bit of a contrarian is in decline a bit. Right, let's just be blunt. Um, he should have been charged tuition by Guillermo de Gundio. Right, well, let me say this. Nicholas Walters' opponent is Vic Darchinian. When Darchinian last fought Nanito Denier, he was schooling Nanito Denier. The fight had three judges. Understand, two of the three had Vic Darchinian winning that fight by four rounds. At the time, Darchinian gets knocked out. Understand, the third judge had the fight a draw. None of the three had Nanito Denier winning that fight. Right now, Denier delivered. Denier has a concussive left hook. Right, Denier was able to knock out Vic Darchinian. But understand, Darchinian has been in the ring with the best. Right, not just Denier, but he fought Yanni Perez. He fought Camilo Moreno. He fought Luis Del Valle when Del Valle was unbeaten. Right, Denier is tested. Also, if you look, excuse me, Darchinian is tested. Also, if you look at the Denier fight, you're going to see that Darchinian is a much better boxer than he was the first time he fought Denier many years ago. 
right? Darchinian now uses spacing much better in the ring. And understand angle-wise, he's a tough matchup for an orthodox fighter like Nicholas Walters because Darchinian is a southpaw. So you can imagine how surprised I was when I learned that for this fight, which is taking place in Macau, Vic Darchinian was a 2-1 to one underdog. Folks, those are huge odds. That's bet $1 to get paid $2 in profit plus the return of your dollar. Right? At that price, regardless of who I'm rooting for in the fight, I'm going to take Vic Darchinian. Right? So, the bet I'm recommending, keeping in mind, that Nicholas Walters is a knockout puncher for whom less than 20% of his fights have gone the distance. The bet I'm recommending is a math play. I like Vic Darchinian at plus 200 to win this fight, hedged against the under nine and a half rounds. Now check the legality of online betting in your jurisdiction. I'm not here encouraging or condoning online betting. But right now, Bet365 is offering the under nine and a half rounds of very high over under at five to six odds, right? Almost even money. So here you can be on both sides of the play, right? You can take Darchinian at plus 200 hedged with the under nine and a half rounds. Understand what nine and a half rounds means. That means that as long as the fight ends before the halfway point of the 10th round, you win the play. Understand there was a time when Victor Chinian was primarily a knockout puncher. Understand for Nicholas Walters, that time is still now. Right? If you believe Walters is going to win this fight, he likely would do it by KO. Right? If you believe Vic Darchinian still has punching power, if Darchinian is able to close the show before the midway point of the 10th round, you would win on both sides of the bet. And the best part is you would get leverage on the Darchinian simply to win side of the bet because you would be getting a plus 200. So, to sum up, as much as I like Nicholas Walters, and I'll be rooting for him in the fight, I'm also going to root for my wallet. The bet I'm recommending is Vic Darchinian at plus 200. I think he's still an elite fighter. Hedged against the under nine and a half rounds. Let me say this too. Darchinian does have a problem with pure boxers. Camino Moreno did put on a show against Vic Darchinian. But understand, Moreno is a guy who's excellent behind a jab on his back foot. That's not Nicholas Walters' style. Walters is a mid-range hooker who likes to get up close to you and load up on punches with both hands. Right? Styles make fights. Styles and prices dictate gambling picks. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.